Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at the home links assignment that goes with uh, Unit 1, Lesson 7, uh, U.S. Traditional Edition. So we are going to be doing some calculations. Uh, up here at the top where it says Family Notes, it will uh, walk you through uh, how to do traditional edition algorithms, which we are going to model right now. So if you need help, uh, feel free to consult uh, the instructions on the top. Let's take a look at the problems. Okay, First it says, make an estimate, write a number model to show what you did, then solve using U.S. traditional edition. Compare your answer with your estimate to see if your answer makes sense. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my first problem, 36 plus 46. Now, I want to create an estimate like it says down here. But for me, it makes more sense to write the estimated problem alongside the actual ag algorithm, okay? So what I need to do is I need to round 36 and 46 to the nearest 10. Well, 36 would round up to 40 because 35 is the halfway point between 30 and 40. 46 would round up to 50 because 45 is the halfway point between 40 and 50. So right now what I've got is an estimated problem of 40 plus 50. And of course 4 plus 5 is going to give me 9. So 4 tens plus 5 tens gives me 9 tens. And because I did the work up here, I'll just draw an arrow pointing that this is my estimate. Now this answer, 90, is going to inform how big my answer should be for the actual problem, 36 plus 46. So my answer should be around the range of 90. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to start with the ones place value, because I always start with the ones and work my way to the left. Okay. So 6 plus 6 is going to give me 12. That gives me two ones and another 10. So now I then add all the 10s together. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So my actual answer for this problem, 36 plus 46, is 82. Now that's pretty close to 90. Okay. Now 82 would not round up to 90, but it's close enough that makes our answer seem reasonable. Okay. Now, Let's pick a different problem. I'm actually going to look at number five. Number five. Number five is a lot like three and six in the sense that they wrote the problem side to side. That's a number sentence uh, approach. But it's better when it comes to place value that you line up all of your place values vertically or do what's called an algorithm style problem like what you did for number one. So 279 plus 1,795. Now, a little sidebar here. 4 plus 5 gives me 9. 5 plus 4 also gives me 9. The order of the numbers does not change the outcome when it comes to an addition problem. So if I start with the 4 or the 5, I still get 9 when I add them together. Now I'm bringing that up because when I want to uh, lay out my problem, it would make more sense to line things up vertically, but since my second digit right here, 1,795, is bigger than the first one, it would be easier for me just to write this number underneath the second. So 279. Okay, so the order in which I add these two numbers together will not affect the answer. Now, before I do that, I need to come up with uh, an estimate. So again, I'm going to think about rounding. Now, you'll notice I have a number in the thousands and a number in the hundreds. Okay, 279 would not round up to a thousand, so it would make more sense for us to round both numbers to the nearest hundred. So 279, that rounds up to 300. 
That's one I can do in my head. Okay? But 1,795. How would I round that to the nearest hundred? Well, what I need to do is I need to think about that roller coaster model and thinking about hundreds. So if I ignore just for a moment that there's a one in front of this number and just think about 795. 795. If I round 795 to the nearest hundred, it would fall somewhere between 700 and 800. With the halfway point being 700, oops, 750. So where then does the number 795 fall? Well, that's right. It's practically to 800 already. 795, it's only 5 away. So of course I would round that to 800. Now, I just got to remind myself it's not 700, it's 1,700 or 1700s. 1700s is the same as saying 1,700. Okay? So when I was looking at the the roller coaster model for rounding, I just have to remember to add a 1 in front of those two digits. So now, here's my estimated answer. I'm going to add 300 to 1,800 or 1,800. So now all I have to do is add 1,800 to 300. Now I can ignore those zeros or just put them underneath because 0 plus 0 is 0. So really all I'm doing is adding 18 plus 3. Well, I can count up from 18, 3 more. 18, 19, 20, 21. So 18 plus 3 is going to give me 21, or 2,100. Well, there's my estimate. Now let's solve for real. Okay, so I'm going to start with the ones place value. 5 plus 9 is 14. I'm going to carry that 10. 1 plus 10. 9 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. 17 tens. I'm going to carry that group of 10 tens up to the hundreds place value. Because, of course, 10 tens is the same as saying 100. Then I'm going to add 1 plus 7 plus 2. That's going to give me 10. Zero looks kind of wiggly. There we go. And then I'm going to carry my ten hundreds to the top of the thousands place value because ten one hundreds is one one thousand. And then I'm going to add the thousands together. One plus one is two. So my actual answer becomes two thousand and seventy four. Which again, if I round it to the nearest hundred, would also give me two thousand one hundred. So using the estimations are going to help us figure out whether or not our answer is close enough to work. Okay, That's the purpose of estimation when we deal with addition. It helps us narrow down our focus to find the correct answer. Okay, Please complete the other four addition problems as well as doing the practice down at the bottom. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends.